mining technique they used to use called a prospector hole, where a prospector would come up here with their pickaxe and their shovel. They'd take their hat off and they'd throw it as high up in the air as they could and wherever it landed, well, that's where they'd start digging. Now, they'd dig down between 10 and 15 feet looking for gold, and if there was gold, it became one of the over 170 gold mines or gold claims here in this area. And if there wasn't, well, they'd just move on to the next spot and start digging there. Today, there's over 5,000 of those unlucky prospector holes scattered across this land here. I call them unlucky because if you've ever tried to hand dig a hole here in the Rocky Mountains, that's not the easiest task. There's also about 3,000 miles of tunneling connecting the over 170 gold mines, including these I was telling you about on the way out. Back in the day, you used to be able to drop down and victor in some of that gold mining tunnel, and you could walk all the way over to Cripple Creek, and you never had to come above ground. Especially during the winter times, the miners started using that as their main way to get to their mines every day. Yeah. 
It's like starting to cover up again. I know. You can hear an echo. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you can hear that echo. Mm -hmm.